The HAL Tejas MK2 is much more than just an upgraded version of India's first homegrown fighter jet. It represents a major step in the country's effort to build a world-class aerospace industry that can stand alongside global competitors. While the earlier Tejas variants were classified as light combat aircraft, the MK2 moves into the medium-weight fighter category with a larger airframe, more powerful engine, and significantly enhanced capabilities that bridge the gap between older jets and the most advanced fourth-generation fighters around the world. One of the most important improvements in the MK2 is its propulsion system. The aircraft is powered by the General Electric F414INS6 turbofan engine, which produces around 98 kilonewtons of thrust. This gives the MK2 a substantial performance boost over its predecessors, improving its climb rate, acceleration, and overall agility even when loaded with weapons and fuel. The enhanced thrust also allows the MK2 to carry a maximum payload of about 6,500 kg, roughly double what earlier Tejas models could carry, making it far more capable in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. The aircraft's aerodynamic design has also been refined for better performance. The MK2 incorporates close-coupled canards along with a larger delta wing, which together improve lift and maneuverability across a wide range of speeds and flight conditions. These design changes help the jet stay stable during high-G turns and provide better control during both air combat and precision strike missions. Composite materials are used extensively in the airframe to reduce weight and enhance structural strength, helping it meet the demanding performance expectations of modern combat aircraft. On the sensor and avionics side, the MK2 is built around India's indigenous UTAM Active Electronically Scanned Array AESA, radar, which uses hundreds of transmit-receive modules to detect, track, and engage targets at long ranges. This radar is paired with an infrared search and track IRST, system and advanced electronic warfare equipment that improve the aircraft's ability to find and engage threats while staying protected from enemy detection and countermeasures. The cockpit is fully digital with large, intuitive displays and modern flight controls designed to reduce pilot workload and enhance situational awareness. When it comes to weapons, the MK2's 11 hardpoints support a wide range of ordnance, from beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles to precision-guided bombs and air-to-surface weapons. This flexibility means the MK2 can be configured for air superiority, ground attack, or maritime missions as needed. The increased payload capacity and number of weapon stations give it an edge over lighter fighters and make it a versatile choice for the Indian Air Force's varied operational needs. The fighter's range and endurance have also been significantly improved. With a larger internal fuel capacity and provision for external drop tanks, the MK-2 is expected to achieve a much greater combat radius compared to earlier models, allowing pilots to reach deeper into contested airspace without frequent refueling. This extended range is crucial for modern missions where jets must remain airborne longer and respond rapidly across vast areas. In terms of technology and systems, the MK-2 adapts state-of-the-art avionics, digital fly-by-wire flight controls, and integrated communication systems that support network-centric warfare. These systems allow the aircraft to share data with other platforms in real-time, enhancing battlefield awareness and coordination. The goal of increasing indigenous content to over 80%, eventually rising beyond 90% with localized engine production, reflects India's drive for self-reliance in defense technology. Speaking about performance in more familiar terms, while a fighter jet doesn't have horsepower or battery charging, like a car or an EV, its engine output and fuel efficiency serve similar roles. The F-414 engine's thrust is roughly analogous to having very high horsepower in automotive terms, allowing the aircraft to sprint to supersonic speeds, climb quickly, and sustain aggressive maneuvers. The aircraft uses aviation fuel rather than batteries, and its onboard electrical systems are powered by generators tied to the engine, ensuring all avionics and life support systems remain operational throughout a mission. There's no charging, instead, Pre-flight checks and system tests make sure everything is ready before takeoff. Developing such an advanced jet takes time, and the Tejas MK2 program is progressing steadily. Manufacturing of key structural components like the wings and fuselage is underway, with HAL targeting the first prototype rollout between late 2025 and early 2026. Ground tests and taxi trials are scheduled to follow, leading up to the first flight expected in the first quarter of 2026.
These milestones are crucial to proving the aircraft's airworthiness and validating its many new systems. After that, an intensive flight test and certification phase begins. Multiple prototypes will undergo hundreds of test flights to assess aerodynamics, flight control systems, engine performance, weapons integration, and safety features. This rigorous process is designed to meet the Indian Air Force's strict requirements and prepare the aircraft for operational use. Initial operational clearance is expected around 2028, with full-scale production starting by 2029 and induction into the Air Force by around 2030. The MK-2's role in the IAF fleet will be transformative. It is intended to replace older jets such as the Jaguars and Mirage 2000s, providing modern capability across combat roles while significantly increasing indigenous technological strength. Its balanced combination of speed, range, payload capacity, and advanced sensors makes it a competitive addition to India's aerial arsenal. Price details for military aircraft are usually confidential, but jets in this class typically cost tens of millions of dollars per unit depending on equipment and support packages. The emphasis on domestic manufacturing and supply chains should help keep costs more controllable compared to importing foreign fighters, and it also stimulates growth in the national defense industry. For aviation enthusiasts and viewers new to fighter jets alike, the Tejas MK2 represents a fascinating blend of cutting-edge technology and strategic ambition. It brings together powerful propulsion, advanced sensors and avionics, versatile weapon systems, and a robust design philosophy rooted in decades of operational experience. As the program progresses through testing and into production, it will be exciting to see how this aircraft performs and how it shapes the future of India's air power. If you want, I can also turn this into a scene-by-scene -scene video script format with narrator cues and visuals timed to each point. Just ask.